This vegetable sauce is so simple to put together and absolutely delicious. Let me walk you through how you can make yours. Here I have the combination of chicken thigh and the chicken breast, the boneless one. I just added some garlic, some thyme, oregano, scully powder, salt and some seasoning cube. Added some chopped onion as well. I'm going to add some water, stir everything together, cover the pot and just allow it to cook once it's perfectly done. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to blanch my vegetable. I've already washed it, it's perfectly clean. I just go ahead and added some salt to it and I will pour in hot water. This is boiling water. The reason why I'm doing this is that I don't want too much water in my soup when the soup is done. Once I add the water, I just press the vegetable into the hot water and I'm going to allow it to sit for about 5 minutes, nothing more than that and I will take it off the hot water. While the vegetable is going on, I'm going to prep my pepper. I just have the tomato, tatashi, chili pepper and some onion and I'm going to blend it roughly. In a pot, I added some vegetable oil. This is oil. I just pour it in a container of palm oil. That is why it's looking red. And I go in with my chicken. I'm going to fry this just a little bit. I'm not going to deep fry it. I just want to give the chicken a little bit of texture, alright? The chicken is fine to my liking. I'll go here with some garlic and I'm going to add some chopped onion and I will stir fry this for about a minute or so just to infuse more flavor into the chicken. Add in the pepper and I sieve this pepper because I don't really want water in this soup. I don't want it to be too dry or to be too watery. If you watch my offer still, which I recently uploaded a couple of days ago, you will see the way I sieve the pepper there. If you haven't watched that video, the link in the description box below. Once I add the pepper, I give everything a quick stir and I add some of the chicken stock into the sauce as well just to add more flavor. I go here with salt and I added a seasoning cube as well and I'm going to stir everything together until they are well combined. I cover the pot and allow the stew to cook until it's perfectly done and at this point the stew is looking so beautiful, looking so good. It is done to my liking. I just go ahead, give it a quick stay and the aroma is absolutely amazing. I tasted for seasoning, everything was perfect. I go here with the vegetable and that is it guys. It's so so simple to put together and it's so so delicious. Go and give it a try. You will not regret it. Trust me. I stir everything together until they still marry the vegetable and the vegetable marry the chicken. So all of them can marry together, alright? I cover it and allow to steam for about 2-3 to three minutes. And that is it guys. It's super simple and absolutely delicious. I give it a final gooster and it is ready. You can enjoy this with your fufu, with rice, with yam, with potato. It's so, so delicious guys. And I hope you guys like the recipe. I pair mine with some rice and it's absolutely delicious. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!